What up, boys? Today, we're gonna to talk about my latest project, which involves this thing, a ripstick, and how I'm gonna make it go fast. So, ripstick is a two-wheeled skateboard that has caster wheels. So the whole point is you can propel yourself without getting off the ground just by shimmy wiggling. And I'm gonna make it motorized. Plan is to use one of these things. This is a Hobby King Motor Turnagy SK3, 4250 sized, 350 kV. So it should have some pretty good torque. Uh, I think I'm gonna put it like right here, but I'm gonna use a belt drive and kind of mount it to the caster so it can all swivel. And yeah, it should be pretty cool. For those of you that haven't seen my other motorized projects, check out my electric skateboard right here, my electric bike right here, and my electric motor scooter right here. So first thing I did was CAD it up in my favorite CAD software, Autodesk Inventor Professional, which is free to students. And I used um, a down, I couldn't find a downloaded version of, of the ripstick, so I actually just designed my own ripstick based on measurements I took off the ripstick and designed these blue parts that basically hold the motor out from the back axle and kind of, you know, support the whole drivetrain system. And then I also catted the wheel and after I catted the wheel, I was able to cat a pulley that fits directly into it. So these are all custom parts. Uh, I'll have the parts available for you guys to download and print on your own. I printed them in PLA. Let's see it in real life. All right, so here we have the layout of parts for the ripstick build. Basically, it's pretty simple, especially if you already have some electronics like a you know a basic transmitter receiver pair or you know any ESCs or batteries. Um, there really is just a little bit of hardware and some 3D printed parts. So first, let's talk about the drivetrain. Here we've got uh, the two motor mounts. Just, sorry, the two brackets that hold the motor mount out behind the wheel, and they mount around the main axle. Uh, and then I have this 3D printed pulley that fits inside the rim of the ripstick wheel. I realize that most of you guys probably have a ripstick wheel that has different looking rim, and I'll design a pulley for that one too. Um, but the point is it mounts directly into the rim so you don't have to like do any crazy mounting. Yeah, the motor mount itself has some slots so that you can actually slide the motor forward and backwards to adjust the tension of the belt. This goes right on top of here. And then this piece sandwiches it like this. And then these both, you know, mount to the main axle. So, and then I'm using a 60 amp YEP ESC um, and a Turnagy Nanotech battery, but you guys can use whatever. And then just like a, a regular car two channel, two channel remote transmitter receiver set. But you guys can use any transmitter receiver set you want, any ESC that goes through the brushless motor and any battery really. This one's for us. And then the motor I mentioned earlier is a Turnagy SK3 4D250 350 kV. Oh, and then here we have the belt and pulley. So this is a pulley I ordered online um, and same with the belt. They weren't very expensive. This belt is HGD 3M size. So that's the tooth profile is 3M. And what else? So as you can see, it's not expensive. Like, you can 3D print all these, buy this at your hardware store. I bet you half of you already have some of this. And otherwise it's like 30 bucks, 25 bucks, the set of these is about 30 bucks, this is about 30 bucks. And you already have a ripstick, I hope. So, very doable. Let's put it together. Boom! Quick run through. ESC, receiver, battery, drivetrain. All nicely packaged and integrated so that you can't even see it from the top, as you saw. And now we're about to take it for a ride, but first I'll give it a quick spin up.
Let's send it! All right, kids, don't try this at home. You could break your phone. Silky. Yeah, it's really getting low. And you can still carve. Still do the wiggly. Boots are from Aldo, in case you're wondering. So surprisingly, it worked on the first build of this setup. There were some previous setups, but this setup first try actually worked, which is kind of crazy. Never happens with stuff I make. It actually has impressive torque on the low end, something that surprised me even more. Top speed is around 15 miles an hour with this, this gear ratio. Gear ratio is like 2.9. I should really know that. It's 62 divided by 20, whatever that is. Three, three something. That's three something. I would recommend sticking with that. The belt I chose worked really well, didn't slip at all. It's a HTM three millimeter pitch, um, 267 millimeter loop belt. It's only five millimeters wide. You know, it's a pretty dinky looking belt, but it worked really well. And yeah, you can make it go faster if you change the gear ratio. You know, I would recommend making that pulley on the motor a little bigger, get you go a little faster. But it's pretty good for torque and speed for most people, unless you're like speed demon. I probably want to go faster, but but get get this. The best part is you can take that and put it there and have two of them and make it all wheel drive. Wouldn't that be sick? Just imagine. Then you can really step up the speed and you'll have twice as much torque because you have twice as many motors. You can also make bigger motors, bigger batteries, you know, buy yourself a 5S or 6S instead of a 4S. 350 kV is probably pretty good. I wouldn't go much higher than that. But yeah, you can get, you know, better, better everything if you really want. So send it, guys. Build your own. Later.